I got one of my great friends, Patrick Moore, on the phone. He's a big supporter out in L.A. with a big L.A. GOP fight going on. Could you like to say hi to him for a second? His name's Patrick. Patrick, this is John Paul. How are you doing? The one thing I fear? Yes. I fear a police state. Government getting more involved than what they are right now. They can't get their job done the way it is, and now they want to do more. So if a business isn't working, shut down. Government's not working. You need to shut it down, start over. So you think that's a big problem we need to address right now? It's a huge problem. That's the biggest problem. They're not doing their job now, and they want to do more. Do any of you guys think that the Constitution is being violated by our current regime in office? Yeah. Do you feel that any president will have a chance to get their way if Congress is in control? Congress um, it's more of just one president. It's more of an idea of Constitution and freedom that we need to kind of embrace on a national level, on every level. We need to educate every single level of government that we need to follow the law of the land, which is smaller government, and get out of people's What do you guys think about the Constitution? No comment. Yeah. No opinion about the Constitution either. Yeah. No? They gave me a cavity search. Um, you guys like the Constitution? You like your rights to free speech? Rights to go vote? Rights to have the government represent what you want? Yeah. Yeah? And I'm standing there holding my dick. Holding there in the buff, holding my junk, trying to cover it. You know, TSA not raping us at the airports. We need to have cops that are going to follow the Constitution they swore to uphold. I'm going to ask you guys to leave, okay? okay. Would you like to do a five minute interview? We just got five minutes of your time. Yeah, we're in. And trying to get interviews to try to share with other people about what really is going on. And with regard to. We got a little game. We're here at the Minneapolis Uptown um, Art Fair, right? Yes. Okay, are you guys having a good time? I'm having so a great far? time. Great, great, good stuff. Our little quiz show works like this. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous person. We both have to state a fact about that person. If one of us is not able to state a fact about them, then we lose a point. Is this like okay. It's going to be like that, only more education. Okay, we're, we're going somewhere this. Okay, exactly. Good. No basketball. We all lose. <laughs> JFK. JFK! That is JFK. We're going like deep political here. One of the best presidents ever. He was very good, from what I hear. He's good. He's good? No quick facts? Good, no no quick facts. Right. Oh, he was married to that beautiful woman. Jackie Jack Onassis? Yes, Jackson Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, Martin Luther King. Thank you. <laughs> quick fact about Martin Luther King. I have a dream. There we go. Yeah. Just like Kennedy, he was assassinated. They were both Big conspiracies behind both. Correct. Right on. Both he led the uh, country to uh, civil rights. break the civil rights movement civil rights. And, right. and give people equal, equality. I was there born on his day. Oh, what on day was that? January 18th. That's another fact about him. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Just quick facts. How about this guy? Obama! Did you guys vote for Obama? I do like him. You like him? Mm -hmm. Okay, you voted for him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, quick fact though, apart from the fact that you voted for him. Um, current president, that's all I got. I watched his inauguration in Times Square. Watch his what? inauguration in Times Square? That's pretty sweet. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got. Here's an older one. Who's that guy? Oh, John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy saved uh, all these crew members from his U-boat. Very good. Wow. One of the greatest presidents of our all time. time. He was the author of an Executive Order 11110. <laughs> I know that one. I committed that one to hire. He knew more than we did. <laughs> We're going somewhere with that. It's tied into other things. Gotcha. This man. Martin Luther King. Correct. Martin Luther King. Good they can't. If you say that again, I'm sorry. A man of very good words. Man of very good words. And he, the activist for um, human rights. Yeah. Right. Um, he was responsible partially for the Civil Rights Act signed by Lyndon Johnson. He had a Here dream. Kennedy would right. sign it. Everyone's <laughs> got to have a fact about this guy. Here we go. Barack Obama. Yeah. Um, Working very hard on turning our economy around. Very good. Barack Obama. 
Very big entourage. Very big on. <laughs> okay. He's got a big on trash. I heard some stuff. Nancy Pelosi, I'm told, too. But, um, yes, this is Barack Obama, and he is the first black president of the United States of America. That guy. Oh, I don't know. I'll give you a hint. You remember the picture of Alan Greenspan before? Yes. That was his lawyer. <laughs> Probably. This is the current chairman of the Federal Reserve. Ah, that would make sense. And a quick fact about that, this guy has now created $16 trillion and he's passed them out to foreign and too big to fail domestic banks. Our tax size. 16 trillion. What a bastard. Holy, right? <laughs> Who's that guy? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Ron Paul's adversary. <laughs> he's a balding man. <laughs> that is a fact about him. I, I don't recognize him. Nothing. Alright, that's right. You, you've given, gotten like every question right so far, so yeah, it's only fair that you missed one point. Um, that is Ben Bernanke. This oh, is the man who is the current chairman of the Federal Reserve, and we now have a $16 trillion debt. What do you guys think of that? I'm gonna get BM dropped out. <laughs> All right. I agree with this. I mean, it's All right. Very good. I should have known that. Yeah. How about this guy? Um. No, I'm afraid I don't know. The one responsible for all the bailouts of the last decade. Okay. He's the reason why the economy didn't yeah, collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the reason why it's going to collapse really hard. Oh, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Something about Charlie. He's a hot mess. <laughs> okay. Um, I like two and a half men. There we go. Winning. <laughs> uh -huh. I just skip him. Yeah, let's go. What'd you skip, Miller? Uh, Miller. Well, come on. Miller, a guy who skips things. <laughs> come on. Who's that guy? Oh, Charlie Sheen. Winning, <laughs> duh. All <laughs> right. Charlie Sheen, um, son of Martin Sheen. I got. It. Here's an older one. This is a tough one. I like his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. No breakbacks. No. This is Alan Greenspan. Alan Greenspan is the former head of the Federal Reserve. Yes, actually, I used to work for Bank of America. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, quick fact, the Federal Reserve is not a federal entity, it is a private central bank. Next uh, picture. I didn't know that. Uh, one That's fact about uh, banking, bank. since you were in banking, did you know that through the Patriot Act, the banks are uh, required to make a report of every thousand dollar transaction deposited and withdrawn? Yep, because we had to fill out forms for all that. Mm -hmm. That was even like five years ago, I used to mm -hmm. make, we had to do that. Yep, mm -hmm. so not many people know about that at all and are completely I probably unaware. I probably didn't know about it if I hadn't been a teller at one point in my life. Uh, that's Gandhi. Gandhi. Nonviolent, right. non cooperation. Well, so this kind of the methods we follow for when we, you know, do our activism and try to educate people. Kind of the peaceful educational tool. We are change.org. I got one question for you guys, um, maybe a final question. Um, why do you suppose it is that the mainstream media doesn't tell us more about those political figures than they do about the celebrity figures? Do you think it, their job is to inform us or entertain us? Well, I think their job should be to inform us, but they're using it as entertainment. Absolutely. And they're afraid of reactions, so they hide. I think people are too scared of talking serious. Like, you talk about, like, oh my gosh, this really pissed me off. I'm sorry, am I getting too much? No. Scared, no, right? so, freaking Amy Winehouse died. Right. And everyone's like, all about Twitter. It's all like, oh, Amy Winehouse, Amy Winehouse. I'm like, did you not hear about the man that killed 90 people in Oslo? Like, yeah. I think people are just scared to run politics with it or to take the seriousness of it. I think back if, to his question. You think if people were more informed about everything that's going on instead of just being fed this kind of bull crap from the mainstream media that they would really be irritated and upset about what's happening and stand up and do something? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. So you, you fear can even watch the right media without getting the right information. You feel the idiocracy of the people is getting too intense and that yeah. basically they're being led to the <laughs> slaughter, right? Yeah. Well, what can we do to change that? I think we need to inform people more. I How do we think, do that? I think mainstream needs to stop. Celebrities are cool. Like, I think Lady Gaga's okay. hot, whatever, but like, <laughs> you know, I enjoy her music, but I think, uh, you know, so even talking about it now has got me more interested in it, know that I need to do my research. I think more people just need to start talking. Like, even just on a local, face-to-face -face level, day -to -day level is, you people just need to start talking about it. Right on. You won't get swine flu from eye contact. Right. I like that. It's very true. <laughs> that is Ron Paul. All right. All right. Yeah. He was ran for president recently, very good. and he has a good, um, strong grassroots support. Very good. Very good. I don't know that man. You don't know that man? Okay.
Yes, this is uh, Congressman Ron Paul, and he is one of the few people in Congress who is not formally a lawyer. That's one of my favorite. Ron and he Paul wants actually. to end the Fed. He was a doctor, and he is an well, adversary. We, we yes, know who started the Fed. We do. Yeah. You guys know quite a bit about the Federal Reserve. Who's this guy? A very cute old man. Isn't he? Right. But he's got the most courage out of anybody. He wants to... Who is he? He wants to feed the poor. Well, essentially. Let's say that. <laughs> what else does he want to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who he is. What's this? Know. Right there. Run ball! Alright. Oh, <laughs> oh, <Legalize yeah>. <laughs> Awesome! I'm right? all for Ron Paul now. How do, you all right. feel about that? How do you feel about the drug war and the fact that it's costing us about $800 billion a year? I think if you tax that shit, we'd make a lot of money. Wouldn't that make more sense than like yeah. arresting non-violent offenders? And I don't yeah. even, I don't even smoke it and I'm like, do what you ever want. Whatever. Yeah. I don't do what you want to do. Right? Yeah, it's like another fun fact. The American prison system is in fact incarcerated more people combined than any other Western uh, nation combined. So, and most of them are actually small-time drug offenders. I don't get it. I just sigh at this fact. Like, I, as long as you don't hurt me, same with gay marriage. I don't care. As long as you're not. But they sh me, you shouldn't have to pay some of your income or your property taxes to support and, and exactly. right. I mean, exactly, right. exactly, exactly. Right, right. They shouldn't be wasting our taxpayer dollars even talking about it in a courtroom or a, a legislature. Like all I can do is roll my eyes. <laughs> Final thing I want to ask is, what do you fear? Oh my God. Spiders? No. Um, <laughs> I mean, on, a, on, a, on any I level. Do. I mean. I fear that. This is so intense. Oh, that people don't. I mean, wasn't this country founded on like people having rights and the freedom to like this country was founded on freedom, and now it feels like we just take that like take their rights away, and that's not fair. People should yeah. have their rights. I wanted to ask you, what what is the one thing you fear? The one thing I fear. Yes. I fear a police state. Um, we have a privatized uh, prison system, and it's a for-profit prison system. And to me, that says that policing is a for-profit endeavor when it shouldn't be. Prison contracts are some of the most lucrative food service contracts in the country. To me, that says that there is a vested interest in uh, depriving people of their security. Well, I mean, it, there's people making money from incarceration, and I just don't think that's a problem. Yeah, it starts kind of conflicting our whole guidelines, like our judges, lawyers, everything else, and our statutes, and the police enforcement. Um, no, it, it, it takes human freedom, and it makes it a profit center, or the deprivation of I agree. It's some bad. What's that? You can't not be here doing this tomorrow. Interviewing yeah. people tomorrow? No. Why not? Why not? not during the art show. We have a constitutional yeah. right to no. freedom no. of speech, no. No. freedom of press. Hey, they understand the oath that they swore to uphold. This is public Guys, streets, this is public no, area. No, no, no. Listen to me, listen to me. And then you can talk to Taylor, but just listen to me for a second, okay? The Art Fair, the Uptown Association, owns all the sidewalks and the streets for three days. The first three days, first three of August every year, the first weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for the last 25 years. We pay over $20,000 for a permit for the streets and the sidewalks. We don't allow solicitors, we don't allow peddlers, we don't allow... To the we're not soliciting, soliciting. It's we're all not right doing here. any of that. You're violating the ordinance. We're okay. not soliciting. We're not selling anything. You're, you're, you're we're not reporting. allowed to do what you're doing. We're not allowed to report. I'm just telling you. We're not allowed to interview people. Uh, no, we're not. We're you're not. not you're, 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 you're a great American. Be careful. There's cars. I'm going to get some great footage if this happens. Good luck. Support our Constitution. Thank you, sir. Anybody here think the Constitution is being violated? Don't be stopped by Ron Paul. Uh huh? We won't be stopped if Ron Paul gets No, but it will stop if we inform every American in our country and we get them active about supporting our Constitution. We have the constitutional right to vote still. Yeah, but it's, it's not like politicians do what we say, so... Well, we are the, we are the people. We have a yeah. voice, right? You'd have to throw over, overthrow the government if you want to change. What about educate the people? Because the people are government. Their government. Officers right there. The reason why they're so peaceful and trying to help us is because they swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. Yeah. A lot of them have forgotten that, don't know what it means. So when they're doing illegal gun raids and kicking in doors and things, they're actually violating the Constitution and should be held accountable. Yeah, right? Should, but who's, but if, who's going to hold them accountable? The people, the court system. So we elect the people in power that are supposed to protect us, like especially our sheriffs, we know who they are. And when they screw up, we hold them accountable. Every person elected to represent us is swearing an oath to the Constitution.
They do that. They swear to it. No, they don't have to. No. Absolutely. These guys are uh, definitely... This is what we call the Uptown Art Fair. Okay. okay. And they have... They pay for permits and such that pretty much say they control what's solicited here. We're not selling the area. Who, who surveys the area? You can't walk around and take surveys, any of that. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to ask you guys to leave. Okay, I mean, you, if you want to go down to the next block and do it, knock yourself out. If you want to go down 27th and do it, are we violating, violating any laws now? Because we are. I mean, I understand that they're renting the streets. They're 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 obtaining the permits to to kind of control this area and shut down streets and hire law enforcement to to help out. Because this is this is their art fair. And they want it so that people can walk through here without being attacked and bothered by people with cameras and microphones. They're here to enjoy the art fair, enjoy the city here. We abide by the, the, the copyright laws, and anybody that says they don't want to be... We're talking about copyright laws. You're talking apples and oranges. No, don't give me a red herring here. Okay? I'm sorry. We're just talking constitutional rights. Okay. okay. We understand that. Same thing for tomorrow. If you want to go down to the next street, that's great. Knock yourself out. If you want to go down there by the lake, Great. There's more people so down no there. freedom of speech zone and 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 the, I'm just trying to understand not officer. I'm not telling you you can't have a freedom of speech. I'm talking about being in people's faces with a microphone and a camera because some people don't want to be photographed. Some I understand. Don't want to be microphone. Right, right. A lot of them don't. So I'm asking you to move down that way or that way or the other side of 31st. Well, thank you, officer. Thank you for uh, swearing an oath to the Constitution and helping protect the people, sir. Thank you. Thank I'm you. saying thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a good day. Did a good job. This is the uh, downtown Minneapolis life. Anybody heard of Ron Paul before? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes? You support him? Constitution? Good guy. Keep spreading the word. We need a lot more people talking about him. Absolutely. Love that. You guys Ron Paul guys? You guys support Ron Paul for president? No? Uh, you need to.